thing that I've learned to grow to hate about owning a diesel truck is that the gas tank alone is about 35 gallons, which is great. But when it goes to filling it up, I never knew that gas pumps automatically stop at $100. And it might sound that I'm complaining about something stupid, but it sucks to have to fill up twice. You put in the card once, you start the pump, you get your gas, it caps out at $100, and then you gotta do it again. This takes twice as long. That really sucks after a while. the title of this video, you're probably confused. Probably wondering why the hell are you going to buy one, another car, and two, another FD. One, to answer the first part, this is not for me. This is actually for Mickey. Mickey has fallen under the curse of staring at this beautiful piece of machinery. And now Mickey's like kinda gotten the bug for one. He saw the listing online. He actually ends up knowing the guy. Yeah, I probably should have one. This is Mickey right now. I'm just going to support and to egg him on and be like, do it, do it. Not necessarily doing it. We're going to look at it. You know what that means. Though. We're going to look at it. That's like going to look at puppies. Here. But yet, there's a trailer <laughs> on the back of the truck. Hey, you gotta be prepared for all situations. No, I agree. Mickey spec, always be prepared. I agree. But the trailer is coming. So who knows? I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. I'm excited to look at this thing in person because it's a hack. I shouldn't say hack. It's not it's, a hack. It's, it's, a, it's an RX-7. All so, RX-7s have been beat the crap. Well, or there's uh, old. Okay, so there's a backstory to this car. My buddy owns this car. Um, a friend of a friend in the industry reached out to me and said, hey, are you still looking for an FD? Because I was lightly looking for a rolling chassis to build something out of. This car actually runs, has a rebuilt 13B in it, but it hasn't run in years. It's actually been sitting for about a decade. So um, it was a project of his, and he gave up on it because he had a few other projects he was working on. So it's that time, he doesn't have a place to park it. The shop that it's staying at is um, bankrupt and going out of business so it needs to be out of there by the end of the month. So I think I might have just found the perfect car. Because if Mickey doesn't buy it, your boy's buying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, we're coming home with it. <laughs> Let's be honest. This is a first and something that I've been waiting to try for quite a while, but I haven't edited today's video yet. So one, I feel accomplished because I'm actually using the truck and using the features that I never thought I'd ever use. I'm like using the wall plug in, which is really not that cool, but it's pretty cool. But also, what I'm gonna test for the first time today, test uploading on the Wi-Fi in this truck. Normally I would have had to edit this and uploaded it before this morning, but I was like, wait, Mick, if you just drive, I can literally edit while we're driving up there and upload it to have Wi-Fi in the truck, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm curious to see how fast it's gonna be. Uploading videos on YouTube is kind of like, kind of sucks. Wi-Fi is a very, very important thing when it comes to fast uploading speeds on YouTube. If you have good Wi-Fi, it could take like two minutes or less than that, and if you have like not very good Wi-Fi, it can almost take up to over an hour. So when I finish it and start uploading it, I'll update you guys show you I think it's gonna be pretty good I have about 10 up and 10 down and you know this doesn't have like a router or anything this is just like the Wi-Fi in the truck is essentially just like a hotspot but even still that's awesome I'm really looking forward to using it we're getting close Nick yep we're uh, should be this during this block right here on the right so somewhere up here be interesting to see where we're gonna park this thing trailers are great but when it goes to parking trailers they suck <laughs> yes. especially when yeah that's gonna be an issue yeah, I'm pretty handy with a trailer. Oh, this is it right here. I bet this probably in that. I saw it. I actually see it. Really? Yeah, it looks like a heap. Oh shit! I could have pulled in there. Huh? That would have been a tough pull, and probably not because we don't want to block their stuff. Well, let's find a random spot and par try and park this somewhere. If I remember correctly, from my driver's test, like seven years ago, you can't park next to a railroad track, but we're sending it. We don't think we'll be here too long. I'm a little bit nervous, Nick. Nah. From what I just saw, dude, it looks like my RX-7 when we got it. A piece of work. That's all right. Yeah, it just you depends on how big of a project you actually want. If you want one that's finished, you gotta spend 20 plus. That's true. Hey, at least it's manual, not automatic. Who would ever buy an automatic RX-7? Only a chotch. Only a loser would ever do that. Only a guy that wants to do a lot of wiring. Oh. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I do want to know. Oh, my God. Whoa. A little less than that. Interior shot, eh? Is this, um... What interior? <laughs> everything that comes with the car is all here. I'm assuming. From the picture we saw online, 
I thought the dash was tan. And I was like, I didn't know the RX-7 dash came in tan. Nah, that's actually the dirt, bro. <laughs> that's the dirt. It's black, it just looks tan. Oh my God. This is the- This thing's in bad shape. Barn fine, dude. No, no rear speakers. Just kept the windows down. This dirt everywhere. Oh, and look at this, dude. We gotta pop, we gotta see what's under the hood. There's like half of the harness sitting right there. Six. The dreaded tan interior. Dude, it's worse than I thought it was. I mean, it's just it's the small shit, like the kick panel on the side, and like, because this is all so fresh, in my mind, we've been doing it so long for RFD, it's like, I don't know, dude. I, uh, what is that? That is an antenna for something. Don't know. It's like, why but did he leave the windows down? Apex. I saw that. Power FC or something? Or not Power FC, I'm sorry. Apex electronics that are destroyed. Oh, man. It's bad. The positive side of things is that it's a manual. Yeah. But, dude. Everything's out of it. Like you have to get new plastics for everything, new trims for everything, new plastics for your hatch. Or just make it a race car. No. Cage it. Uh, Not a race car, but like a race car type build. Look, this is what it at one point had a nice little coat of red and yeah, candy, house of color, candy apple red. It's kind of got away from him. Well, looks. I mean, it's just been sitting for so long. Front bumper's got to get it. I mean, it's fairly complete under here, which is nice. This is an airbag sensor. I know where that goes. Teach, this car needs to be completely blown apart like yours. Like, everything stripped off of it and completely, basically rebuilt from the ground up. It needs the I mean, exact same thing that my FD had needed. I was hoping that we could come here and, you know, spend a few extra bucks on a car that's been sitting for 10 years and get something that we could just power wash and clean up and, you know, spend some time in the engine bay and get it running. Um, it does have a brand new engine harness in here, which is a problem on these cars. They get real crispy and break like we saw on your old one. Yeah, this doesn't look that new, so but that's the harness that's in here is a thousand dollars new. Um, Little gem. Yeah, all the parts that are on here like were good parts at one point in time. Um, all the electronics and bolt-on stuff. So, I mean, there are some things. Fuck, man. I was hoping it'd be in much better condition. Ten, I think 10K is too much for this guy. Like, heaps too much. I wouldn't pay more than like, no more than six grand. I mean, I know that like I got my RX-7 for a good deal, but but and they're they're Mazda OEM. These are expensive. I wouldn't buy the car for that. No, I wouldn't either. You have a tough choice to make, Mick. Mickey's gonna go ahead and uh, call the owner. Now we knew this car would probably be in rough condition, but to be honest, when we are seeing it now, it's in fairly, fairly worse condition than we thought. When I got my RX-7, I found it at a place like just like this, but the car still ran, kind of, and at least the interior was decently clean, and most of it was there. This one uh, has been sitting for 10 years. Both the windows were left down, so the whole entire interior, although it's missing some stuff, could have at least been saved and not just rotted away if the windows were up. And there's like a, a harness sitting in the back, and it's in far worse condition. And it's scary because you guys know how long it took to get the RX-7 that I bought eight months ago to life and where it is today. Oh, man, and to start all over again, it's rough. So I don't know, I'm gonna let Mickey talk on the phone, kind of figure out where he's sitting with it and he'll make an offer. And we'll see how it goes, but we were not expecting this. And it's like he had all these spare parts. This is another type of bucket headlight that some people do in the FD. I've never been that much of a fan of it. No, there's no ECU for the engine. But it had big plans, it's for sure. And then all these boxes that he had, these are like super old. There's brand new taillights, clips, 
um, harnesses, all the stuff from Mazda that were just never even used. I guess this is valuable right here, boys. This is a sweet find. I'm getting excited about looking at these. I just told him that this definitely wasn't what I was expecting. And uh, he says that a lot of the interior parts that are missing are actually here somewhere and that the owner of the shop should know where it is. So he's calling him to find out what else would be included uh, in the sale of the car. Hopefully it's more things because at the moment this doesn't look like a real good idea. Well, it doesn't like we'll be leaving here with a car today. We're not going to be? No, so he needs to think about it. I offered him like five for the car, like maximum six. Uh, with the current condition that's in, because I did just find a rat's nest underneath the intake manifold, <laughs> which means the wiring's probably chewed up pretty good too. Um, the Apex Power FC unit looks like it. The Apex Power FC engine management system looks like it's been sitting under water since the windows have been down for uh, nine years. He said it's been under a car cover, but it's hard to tell. I don't know. It's really risky. All right, so here's our end consensus. Mick threw him an offer, but he wants to sit on it for a couple days. He's going to let us know how he feels. But the thing is, is everything on it needs to get replaced, and that's the scary part. Not only because, one, buying new parts from Mazda is extremely expensive. Also, finding parts and getting other used parts from other people is still really expensive, but really hard to find. We came close to finding something special here, and who knows, maybe it might work out, but I don't know. I just, we Not just, it's just, ah, the FD tax, boys. It hurts sometimes. Mickey's having a hard time letting it walk. I don't blame him. So we're gonna go get lunch, and then while we're at lunch, Mickey's gonna try to talk over the phone and see if he can work we can out make a deal. the price or something, but... The bones are there. Everything inside the car needs to be ripped out and thrown in a dumpster. Um, there's a rat nest under the intake manifold, which means there's been mice in there, which means they're probably eating the new wiring harness that he had put in a few years ago. There's a lot of downsides. The upsides are it's an FDRX7 and can be had for under 10 grand if the deal's right. Unfortunately, I know the seller. That makes it more difficult. Selling a car to a friend is never a good idea because it's literally the opposite ends for both friends. The person who's selling it wants the most they can get out of it and the person buying it wants it for the least amount they can get out of it. Point of the story, never sell your friends your own shit. Just, it just doesn't just work out. Do it. It, just, it just doesn't work out right. One hour later. Mickey just got off the phone with the owner. They've been going back and forth for like the last 30 minutes. Let's get our final update and see if we're bringing home a new FD. What's the deal, Mick? Yeah, we're just too far apart on the price. I just don't think it's gonna work out. It's a ton of work to do. Um, what I just is, don't want to give him the extra money for it just because I just think there's a lot of work to do. What is he asking? He's asking 7500 To put it in perspective, I think I've said this already, I think we got my RX-7 for like in the 5000s, low 5000s for a running FD. And the interior was good. And it was working. But that was a steal, but that's just too much for that car. I feel like if we come back in a couple days, or let him sit on it for a little bit and see I, if you I, can work the price of them. The thing is, man, is 90s Japanese cars right now are just going up in price. That's what makes it so hard to pass on this because at the end of the day, it's just a couple grand, but it's a lot of work. Plus, knowing how much work I have to put in to actually make it something that's worth value. I don't know. I'm down to put in the work. I just don't want to give up the money. Rip. All right, so I'm going to call him back and let him know that uh, we're going to pass. All right, I'm packing up the trailer then. Here's what I'm thinking. Mickey wants to put in five. The guy wants 75. I think I'm gonna pay the difference of the price. I know how bad Mickey wants an FD. He's like been falling in love with them for the past like year that he's been like helping me with mine and he's done so much work for us and I think this would be a cool like treat. Fuck. 
Fuck it, dude. I'm gonna help Mickey get this car. I'm gonna pay the difference. This is gonna make him so happy. Hey, bro, it's Mickey. Just wanted to give you a call and let you know that I'm gonna go ahead and pass on the car. Hold on a second, bro. What's up? 